Our guest today is Troy Johnston from Seller.Tools and he will show how using their application Seller.Tools you can set up a really automatic way to get reviews for your Amazon products. And uh, if you would like to try uh, for yourself Seller.Tools you will find the link below in the description as well as a offer they have for Orange Cliff viewers. And as always if you like what we do click the like button below the video and subscribe to our channel. Hey, Troy here from Seller.Tools. I am so excited to be joining you. If you haven't heard or seen us before, we specialize in getting your products on page one on Amazon, getting more Amazon reviews and helping you with the tools of the best when it comes to automation and optimization to truly win on Amazon. I'm excited to be joining you in this video because we're going to be diving into how to get more Amazon reviews in a TOS compliant, fully automated fashion that literally it'll take me longer to explain it than it will for you to set it up. So I'm excited to put this in your hands and have you on your way to automated Amazon reviews at scale. And let's dive into this together. Here in my account, where we're at is under automation and we are accessing the review request feature. If I had a magic wand and I could have this five years ago where I could set up in 60 seconds, TOS way to fully automate requesting Amazon reviews, uh, I would have loved to have had it. And now fortunately we have that today and it's something that you can access now, but let's walk through this together. Now, the first thing we're going to do for this feature is we are going to enable it. You're going to see this in your account when you are getting it set up where you complete a one-time sync, simply click enable, and then it is actually off and running. What Amazon does, will look at every order that is eligible to receive a TOS compliant review request, saving you hours days of time, even your virtual assistants, your team's time to going into Seller Central to manually clicking through each and every button of that review request, simply by shifting this button over to enable, it's fully automated. Everything else that we're going to cover next is just how you can filter, you can customize the use of this tool as you would like. Now we are going to be monitoring for you the number of requests that are sent over time. You can see and track these changes. And usually these are loosely correlated with your sales activity because for the most part, a majority of your orders will be eligible for the TOS compliant review request sent via email outside Amazon's uh, buyer seller messaging system. So you don't have the crazy opt-ins that you're used to if you're sending uh, and configuring emails and templates yourself um, and you're used to customers never receiving those. Uh, getting, you know, getting um, all types of analytics that say, you know, it's not really a fruitful effort. This is completely different. It's a whole different system. There isn't the opt-outs that you see in the same way with buyer seller messaging. So you get all of these healthy sent requests that you can look at different cross sections of time to see how uh, this is performing, how many emails are going out to your customers. So we can monitor requests that are sent. We can also then filter and customize down, as I mentioned, different rules for those customers and those orders that receive these review requests. So for our global matching rules, as the name implies, these are account-wide rules where we can set the fulfillment channel, different filters for orders that we want to exclude. So let's say a customer has less, left us two-star seller feedback. That's probably not a customer we want to have the opportunity to leave um, a uh, Amazon review for just sitting in their inbox. There's probably other avenues we can support them or get ahead of them having already said less than stellar things about their buying experience. So we can exclude three stars and below, which is highly recommended, a great best practice. We can exclude customers that are uh, have received a promotional discount, subscribe and save discount, and so on. We can exclude different buyer types. We can also exclude, and this is really popular for um, let's say a newly launched product, products that do have repeat purchase behavior uh, typically tied to them, you can exclude first-time purchasers and wait for the second, third, or more purchasers to come in. Because as you can imagine, if somebody's voting with their dollars, coming back, repurchasing, they probably have really great things to say about you, your product, the buying experience, and you would love to have that live on your listing forever in the form of an Amazon review. Excluding returns and refunds, another intuitive and great best practice where you can exclude those orders as well as any wallet process or as orders that are used to the seller tools wallet. Or maybe if you're running rebate campaigns, you want to exclude those uh, customers, you can decide and uh, determine if you want to use that filter 
for exclusion. Now, at the global level, we also have the product level. As that name implies, this is product specific filters where we can come in here, look at the products and decide if we want to exclude first time purchases, second purchases, third purchases, and so on at the product level. Again, great idea if it's a newly launched product, your confidence level isn't at 100%. There is already repeat purchase behavior. So you have a stronger likelihood of there being repeat purchases. You can exclude those orders and then decide at the ASIN level uh, in the product level if you want to send those requests at all. Lastly, we have the actions. This is the window in time that Amazon will allow us to then send out these review requests. It's all within their system. Since it's all 2S compliant, we of course have everything set up and configured to uh, be right within Amazon's guidelines where we use Amazon's own time zone. We can pick the time of day that we want to send that review request and then the days after delivery. And what you'll notice is Amazon gives us between five and 30 days and that is the window of time that you'll be able to utilize as you're setting up your alerts yourself. And you may be asking, okay, Troy, this is great. Set it and forget it. When's a good time to uh, request or trigger sending out the uh, review request to my customer's inbox? Think about when your product may be giving the most value to your customer. If it's a supplement, that may not be the same exact or next day that they are interacting with that product. So you probably want to wait a little bit of time. Is that 14 days? Is that ample amount of time for them to utilize your product, realize some of the benefits, have maybe better things to say as you're welcoming reviews at scale? Be thinking about that when you think of not only the time of day, but then the, the delivery window. It doesn't have to be as soon as you can get it to them. It can be well-timed because remember, this is truly set it and forget it fully automated, accessible from us at Seller Tools, even on our lowest tier plans um, to where there is almost no barrier to having TOS compliant, fully automated review requests part of your arsenal, especially as you weigh the alternatives. If you're used to buyer-seller messaging, customers opting out uh, in mass greater than 50% to where it's a coin flip if they ever receive it, then you've got to worry about the language that you're using and getting pinged by Amazon systems and bot detection. All of that is pretty much removed, plucked out of the equation and everything that's good about it, you can find through a solution like this, working directly with the Amazon API to make sure that you have a white hat TOS compliant way to complete this process. So there you have it. This is review request right through seller.tools accessible, even on our lowest tiers. So your investment's small, but your return is high, easy to set it and forget it and get full access to a powerful way to more reliable Amazon review capturing. I hope this seller.tools tutorial was useful for you and if you want to sign up for seller.tools you'll find the link below as well as a special offer a coupon code which will give you a discount while, while signing up for their lifetime deal and actually here you can watch a video where we do a uh, full length uh, walkthrough through a seller.tool features.